Hi, Matt Johnson, another episode of Deck Talk. I want to show you a cool tool today to help you catch more fish this fall trolling. Not necessarily maybe an exact fish catching tool, but an alert tool. You know, as it gets into the fall months, it's colder out. We're wearing ice armor suits, we're wearing our winter ice fishing gear, trying to stay warm. You got your Mr. Heater, Buddy Heater in front of you, warming your hands up from time to time. You soon have to worry about rod tips freezing up. So I want to show you a tool you know, called the strike sensor from Bulldog Strike Sensors. And what this does, it's going to give you an alert system. It allows you to hear something whether you are paying attention or not. Because as we know, you're bundled up, you got gloves on. You might be trying to stay warm, talk to your friend. Next thing you know, you turn around, your rod's going off. You didn't know it was being hit by a walleye, by a pike, whatever you're trolling for. So all the system does is it alerts you with basically a buzzer, as you can hear, very loud pitched. And all you're doing is attaching this several different ways to your boat, whether it's your rail system, whether you're going to put it flush mounted, whether you're going to attach it to an apparatus that then you would maybe mount onto your boat so it's more removable. But there's several different ways to attach the strike sensor onto your boat. You can check it out here on the website. You'll see a link down there below your screen on how you get there. Um, but you can check it out at Carter, carterday.com. C-A-R-T-E-R day.com. Professional wall angler used to fish the pro circuit when the FLW tour was around by the name of Matt Ernst. Started this system. He's used it to catch a lot of fish and cash some checks throughout the years. And it's something that I've become fond with, like I said, a few years ago, not only for just walleye fishing, but during the summer months for the guys that like to fish for catfish, whether you're fishing for muskies, pike, you can adjust this in the center. This little bolt here can be adjusted, can be tightened so that the pressure, the tension it takes to trigger this is tougher. So whether you're going to be trolling salmon hornets, whether you're going to be trolling larger crankbaits, whether you're going to be trolling, I've seen guys even troll bulldogs and stuff for muskies with this, you can adjust the tension so that now you just hear that beep, you turn around, you know you got a fish on, you go grab the fit rod and reel it in. So attaching this is very, very simple. And all I've been doing is you can use Scotty mounts or rod holders, full B. There's tons of cannon, there's tons of different RAM, tons of different options out there. This happens to just be a pretty inexpensive Scotty mount. And all you're doing, you can see on the strike sensor, it's already got the holes on there mounted or already uh, positioned. All you're going to do is mount them in place there, and then that's where when the fish is sitting or your rod is sitting in the rod holder and the fish starts to pull it, that's where it goes off. So it's all position based and again depends on where you have this on your boat and the rod holder. It's entirely up to you. You probably have some in your boat that you want to use. Pop off, pop on, very easy, very simple system. So that's a great way to hear what's going on. So if I'm trolling, especially in the next few weeks when it gets cold, I might not be as hands-on as I would like to be when it's warmer during the summer months or early fall. So as it gets colder, I rely on some of my my hearing, my other senses to detect the bites if I'm worried about something else as I'm navigating or talking to a client. So that's the way I like to hear the fish. Some tools to use in terms of te terminal tackle and, uh, and the lures involved. We talked about the Samuel well Hornet already several times this year. I won't beat you to death on that one. I think we all know that catches a lot of fish. Very, very popular bait. It's going to catch fish in the fall as well. Also a great tool to maybe stop and cast some of the areas that you would troll through. So if you're fishing channels, rock piles, some of the shallow structure points, whatnot. You might not go through on a troll. You might be able to stop your boat and cast with a bait like this. Another one that gets deep is the Samuel Bullhead. A little larger profile, going to dive a little deeper. It's going to go another five, six feet deeper. Again, if you're looking to kind of increase the feed bag momentum there in the fall months, while as you're feeding themselves on larger baits, this is going to be a larger profile than let's say that Samuel Hornet. So now you've got a meteor profile bait for the walleyes pike that are going to be gorging themselves as we get into late October and early November months. Um, otherwise, another good option that I love to use, the Salmon Minnow. That's going to be a shallower profile bait, so it's only going to go down maybe three, five, six feet. But if you're trolling the channels, trolling the shallow flats, as we know after dark, the walleyes move up to feed on the fish. That's where that Salmon Minnow comes into play. So you can also cast a Salmon Sting. So there's a couple other options in terms of a shallow presentation when you're talking about crankbaits. So you can also throw live bait to cut a lot of fish on red tails, suckers, shiners, those sorts of things during the fall season. So maybe troll to find where these fish are honing in at. Trolling also helps you cover a lot of ground. And if you do find where the fish are, pinpoint them with maybe casting a crankbait, a lipless crankbait, or even throwing some live bait up on top of these walleyes and you're a good bit. So get out there, have some fun. 
use some of these cool tools to your advantage so next time you're on the water you can hear when that fish bites and you don't have to be paying attention as much so it doesn't mean avoid what you're doing in terms of looking at and paying attention to what you're fishing for but some of these tools help make it easy for us to, to get on the water and catch more fish so I know they're available at Thorn Brothers so thornbros.com you can get on there and you can see during the tro it should be under the trolling tools or trolling section you can check out those strike sensors as well so get out there I don't want to say the open water season is wrapping up but we are into the middle part of October I did stop by Rapid Marine today and a lot of people are bringing their boats in I mean you still got a lot of excellent fishing ahead of you so get out there have fun be safe you know, it's going to be colder out there. Water temperatures are going to start to drop. Make sure you got your life jacket on as you get into these later months so your state safety comes first. So Matt Johnson with Deck Talk, you know, we'll catch you again. If we don't hear from you, catch some fish, have some fun, and be safe out there.